A spike in crime leads to a spike in arrest in the area around North Temple and Salt Lake City. And new statistics released today show the Department of Public Safety made a dent in those numbers in just a matter of weeks. But is it enough? News for Utah's Haley Higgins talked with homeowners to find out. Well, admittedly, the Department of Public Safety says they still have a long way to go in this crime-ridden neighborhood that they say spilled over after Operation Rio Grande. Officers on bikes, troopers making arrests, a new police substation, law enforcement interrupting crime plagues North Temple. There's a lot of drug distribution going on in the area. In the last two weeks, the Department of Public Safety says their own team spent nearly 1,500 hours patrolling from West Temple to Redwood Road. During that time, they made 87 narcotic arrests, 43 drug distribution charges, arrested 39 suspected dealers, and took in 35 people with warrants and captured seven fugitives. Really going after those violent offenders, those, those that are preying, preying on the area and that drug addiction. Um, so yeah, there is quite a bit and that's, that's why we're here. DPS admits they still have a long way to go. The increased presence comes weeks after home and business owners complained about a spike in crime. Police say it is connected to illegal activity pushed out of Salt Lake City's core during Operation Rio Grande. So it's scary that there's that much drug activity downtown Salt Lake. The criminal element, they would go hide around the corner and, until they left. And now we've got a permanent presence here and the difference is night and day. Well, it's important to note that these arrests are in addition to 46 arrests done by Salt Lake Police during the same time. In Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, News 4, Utah. Now, police admit the sweep will likely cause drug dealers to move to a different area, but they are committed to following the crime.